What is going on beautiful people? I hope you're crushing it with your mobile videos. Now I know that some of you watching my videos are thinking about starting a YouTube channel. I think the best way to do it is to use your iPhone. I mean, it's an all-in-one system. You can film high quality videos, edit them on the go and upload them directly to your YouTube channel without any hassle. Creating YouTube videos doesn't have to be difficult guys or time consuming. In fact, using an iPhone like I'm doing right now can make the process a lot easier and more fun. If you're someone who is getting started with a YouTube channel or is thinking about starting one, here are some great tips and tricks for growing your YouTube channel using an iPhone. So the first one would be choose a topic you're interested in and passionate about. When it comes to growing your YouTube channel, one of the best things that you can do is choose a topic that you're passionate about. This way, not only will you be more likely to produce content that is engaging and entertaining, but you'll also be more motivated to keep at it even when the going gets tough. If you're not sure what sort of topic to choose, think about something that you enjoy doing or talking about in your free time. Now, obviously I like to talk about how to make videos with your iPhone. And that's where I started to focus my channel around that topic. Now, since I was so passionate about it, it was like burning in my heart. For me, it didn't feel like work. So if you're stuck on what to make videos about, ask yourself what you're passionate about and start there. Now, no matter what topic you choose, make sure that it's something you really feel comfortable talking about on camera. After all, the success of your channel will ultimately depend on your ability to connect with your audience like we're doing right now. Now, what holds people back the most on starting a YouTube channel, I think this is like the biggest reason, is the fear of being on camera. If you're not comfortable being in front of the camera, that's okay. It takes practice and not everyone is born a natural. Not even me, guys. I still feel uncomfortable talking into the camera, but because I've done it so many times, uh, I sort of got used to it. And it has gotten so far that I don't even care what people think about uh, when I do my videos, which is great because this way I can be myself, be authentic and just show my true self. So I suggest the best way to overcome this fear is to just start making videos and get comfortable with the process. Trust me, the more you do it, the easier it will become. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel but are feeling a bit intimidated, just remember my words that anyone can do it. If I can do it, you can do it too. And there's no reason why you can't. Start small, be yourself, and most importantly, have fun. And before you know it, guys, you'll be on your way on living a dream life like I am on a yacht here in San Diego. No, I'm just joking. Now, the next one would be to start with the camera you have in your pocket. One of the best things about starting a YouTube channel is that you don't need expensive equipment to get started, guys. These days, most people have a pretty decent camera in their pocket, their smartphone. If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, your first step should be to start filming with the camera you have. Don't worry about buying fancy equipment or upgrading right away. Just start with what you have and see how it goes. You should be constantly learning and experimenting as you go anyway. I suggest you watch my playlist somewhere up here, easy smartphone video tutorial so that you can get started immediately with some tips on filming with your phone. And if that's not enough, go check out my smartphone filmmaking course, which is today's sponsor, where I, as your mentor, break down everything you need to know about filming with your phone. And if you get stuck, I offer personal mentorship to make sure you reach your goals. You'll be surprised at how well your smartphone video will turn out. Now, as your channel grows, you can always invest in better equipment down the road. It's funny because I actually did the opposite and started with a professional camera before switching to my small iPhone. And I decided to wing my videos with my iPhone because it just has so much potential and the quality is just crazy good. Now, in the end, it's all about what works best for you and your channel. Even though you don't need expensive equipment to get started, there are a few basic items that will help you produce better quality videos. Now, for example, a tripod will help you keep your phone steady while you're filming. This is especially important if you're recording yourself talking like I'm doing right now or doing something active. 
I also recommend getting a microphone to improve the sound quality of your videos. There are many different types of microphones out there, but I personally recommend the Rode VideoMic Mi L to get started. It's a shotgun microphone that attaches to the side of your phone and it does a great job of picking up sound. Now, the one I'm using right now is the DJI Mic, uh, which is a bit more expensive, but great for a wireless and hands-free setup. Remember, your goal is to grow your channel and attract viewers. To do that, you need to produce content that is engaging and professional looking. That doesn't mean your videos need to be perfect, but they should be well lit and easy to watch. As you can see, I'm using free natural light right now, which looks really great already. If your videos are dark or shaky, it will be harder for people to watch them. And if people can't watch your videos, they're not going to stick around for long. Even though you're starting with the phone, take the time to learn some basic filmmaking techniques. Trust me, it will make a big difference in the quality of your videos. I'm all in for quality over quantity. It's better to upload one high quality video a week than five low quality videos. Unfortunately, most people don't know how to produce the best quality out of their phone. And that's why I'm here to help, to give you the knowledge you need to produce the best quality content for your audience. Now, if you need help getting started with making videos on your iPhone, do yourself a favor and download my free smartphone filmmaking guide where you will find my top gear recommendations as well as my 10 step guide to filming great videos with your iPhone and more. Pause the video and do that right now. You'll find the download link in the video description below. Next would be to use an editing app. Once you've filmed your videos, it's time to edit them. Again, you don't need expensive software to do this. There are plenty of great editing apps that you can use right on your phone. I personally use InShot, but there are other popular options like iMovie. Now these apps are pretty user-friendly and allow you to do things like trim your footage, add music, and even add titles and transitions. If you're new to video editing, I suggest starting with an editing app like InShot instead of diving right into a more complex software like Adobe Premiere Pro. Editing apps are much simpler to use and will help you get comfortable with the editing process. The great part is that you can edit anywhere and anytime. So if you're traveling like I'm doing right now or don't have access to a computer, you can still edit your videos on your phone. Once you learn the editing app and have established a workflow. Trust me, editing your YouTube videos will become much easier and quicker. You can also upload your videos directly to YouTube from most editing apps. So once you're finished editing, you can hit publish and your video will be live for the world to see. This is a great way to save time and get your content up quickly. Now make sure to check out my awesome playlist video editing tutorial to get started. In there, you will find the whole process from filming to editing and publishing your final video. Next, which is the most important tip I can give you is stay positive and don't give up. I personally think one of the most important things to remember when starting a YouTube channel is to be patient and stay positive. It takes time to grow a channel. It took me a year to hit my first thousand subscribers and I was uploading videos once a week consistently while working a full-time job. So if you're just starting out, don't expect to blow up over at night. Just focus on creating quality content and being consistent, guys. The rest will come in time. Trust me, I've seen it happen time and time again. So many people give up too soon because they don't see the results immediately. Starting a YouTube channel can open so many opportunities. It's a great way to grow a business, build your personal brand, make some extra money, or even turn it into a full-time career. In the end, it all comes down to how much time and effort you're willing to put into it. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, don't overthink, just go for it and see what happens. For me, starting a YouTube channel has been the best thing ever. I'm just having so much fun doing these videos. The reason why I started a YouTube channel was not because it was easier, but hearing that I can help so many people with my tutorials really fulfills me. And I feel that I can make a positive impact in this world. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this inspiring and got something out of it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Let me know if you're someone who would like to start a YouTube channel. And if yes, what is it about? Now make sure to stay up to date by subscribing to my channel and hitting the like and notification bell. And it will also allow me to produce more valuable content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it mobile and see you the next time.